So let's just consider Boyle's law to begin with. So Boyle's law is that the volume is inversely proportional to pressure. So if we have a certain amount of particles um, in this container and we change the volume, then the pressure is going to change as well. So if we increase the volume, and I want you to look at the pressure gauge here. Okay, so if we increase the volume, then the pressure decreases. If we decrease the volume, then the pressure increases. Okay, and you can see that on the pressure gauge there. All right, so if we decrease the volume, the pressure increases. If we increase the volume, the pressure decreases. So that's showing Boyle's law, that volume is inversely proportional to pressure. So now let's consider Charles' law. And Charles' law is that volume is directly proportional to temperature. So if we have the um, same number of particles in a container and we add heat, so we're increasing the temperature, and you can see that the temperature gauge at the top. So as we increase the temperature, then the volume also increases. Now if we do the opposite, so if we remove um, heat, okay, so decrease the temperature, then the volume will also start to decrease. Okay, so as the heat is removed or temperature is decreasing, the volume also decreases. So that's Charles' law that volume and temperature are directly proportional to one another. So gay lussacs law is that if volume is controlled and we increase the temperature, then the pressure will also increase because they are directly proportional. So watch the pressure gauge as we add heat, we increase the temperature gauge. Okay, you can see that pressure is increasing there as the temperature increases. And now if we do the opposite, so if we remove heat, we decrease the temperature, then watch the pressure gauge again, it decreases because pressure and temperature in Gay-Lussac's law are directly proportional.